Hey guys, in this series, you will learn the complete social media marketing strategy that I and many other people use on the internet. It's going to help you to drive organic traffic to your website for free without doing too much extra work. There is a bit of extra work, but it's not much. I'll show you how to do it. And I'm actually going to give you a complete social media marketing plan for you to copy. And I'm going to show you how to play the algorithms. That's really important if you want to increase our reach and engagement. I'm going to show you the social media tools I'm using. And if you stay until the end, I'm going to show you how to get more traffic using more organic traffic methods that I've developed for you. So grab a pen and paper. There's lots of notes to take. And if you want the second part in this series, because this is just part one, if you want part two, then tell me in the comments and I will go ahead and make that for you in a couple of days time. So who is this strategy for? It's for content creators. It's for bloggers, vloggers, podcasters. It's for affiliate marketers, email list builders. It's for mentors, coaches, product vendors, information marketers, e-com stores can use this even offline businesses, local businesses, it works beautifully for them too. So happy with that, happy to proceed with the social media marketing strategy. So what we're going to do is take existing content that's already been published on the internet. Ideally, this is going to be created by you. It doesn't have to be, you can use other people's content if you have the rights to do that. But for this purpose, we're going to use I'm going to show you how I use my content because I create all, all the content that comes out of Profit Copilot is created by me personally. So we're going to go with that. We're going to repurpose it into more formats. So we're going to take one piece of content and we're going to threefold it, create an extra, at least an extra two pieces of content from that. And then we're going to create even more because we're going to break it into smaller chunks. This is called micro content. So we take big column content and then we repurpose it into different formats and then we break it all down into smaller chunks. And then we pro we post relevant content on each social media network. So we match the content format to the social media network. We don't just blindly post everything all over the place. We have a little bit of a strategy about, about knowing what works best where and when we know what works best where we just do more of that i'll show you how so to do this right you're going to have to test different posting frequencies what that means is i recommend you start with three pieces of content every day you don't have to create this content from scratch because we're using existing content and we're just repurposing it and then we schedule it in advance to drip feed over the course of a week i'll show you how to do it so here is the truth about organic reach. And this might shock you. That sounds very clickbaity, doesn't it? So this is actually the truth because not many people are aware of this. They invest time and money into social media and really they end up spinning their wheels because organic reach is in decline. It's been falling dramatically over the last few years. It could even be below 3%. Now we compare that to email marketing which has got an open rate, an engagement rate of around 30%, 10 times more. So you can see why people are trying social media and not getting the results that they, that they used to get. I mean, just a couple of years ago, it was expected that you would get a reach of around 12%. That was just a few years ago. So the reach has, has continuously declined over the years. But we can't increase it by understanding how the algorithms work. And if you want part two, I'll delve into the algorithms pretty deep. If you want that information, let me know in the comments. I'll be pleased to make that for you. Now, the good thing about this is even though the reach is in decline, the number of followers you have don't really matter. So you can have a thousand followers. It doesn't matter that much because engagement is everything. That's the important bit. So you can have a thousand followers who don't interact with you or you can have a handful who do. The, the handful that do are much better for your business than the thousand who ignore you. So engagement is everything. 
what is engagement is things like watches, the watch time, likes, comments, shares. People interact with your content in some way. So for this to happen, you need to post good content often. I recommend a minimum starting point of three times a day. I'll, I'll speak more about this coming up soon. So the good thing with this is we don't just create a whole bunch of content once. What we do is we create it and then we reuse it over and over and over again. So if I create an image or a video, I'm going to be posting that multiple times over the coming months. I'm not going to post it two days in a row, not, not even three or four days in a row, but maybe once a week I will share a piece of content. And that's because we, we underestimate or we overestimate, sorry, we overestimate how many people are into what we're doing. We assume that we, we create one piece of content, post it, and everyone's going to watch it. Or everyone's going to consume it. Most people won't even realize you've done it. So that's why we recycle and reschedule content over and over. So it gets the maximum reach. And people don't mind seeing the same piece of content again and again. You know, as long as there's adequate time in between each each uh, each encounter with that content. So here is the social media repurposing content strategy that I use. Now I start with video. I understand that you might not want to do that. So let's say you're going to start with a blog post. What you do is you take that blog post, you turn it into a video. This is optional. You don't have to do this. I would strongly encourage you to do it though. And then you take that audio, the audio track from that video, and you repurpose that into a podcast. Again, this is optional. I'd encourage you to to um, to do it, but you don't have to. We can do fine with just the blog post. I'll show you what I mean. So let's start with blog post. We can take chunks, single sentences that have value and meaning, and we can turn them into images. So we can take more content. We could take a paragraph, turn that into an infographic. Or we could turn the, the entire article into an infographic. If you want to, we could take individual sentences and paragraphs, turn them into memes. We can use them as quotes, those inspirational quotes that we see being shared all over social media. So you can repurpose your blog post multiple ways for social media like that. We can also go beyond social media. If you want to know how to do that, how to repurpose your blog posts going beyond social media, let me know and I'll, I'll create that content for you. So that's how we repurpose blog posts for social media. Very basic. We can turn it into infographics, memes, images, quotes, something visual. For video, we can chop videos down into smaller trailers. So let's say, for example, we have a slide section of of your longer video, we take one of those slides, the point that you're making in that slide becomes a teaser video. And then we put that out across the internet. And the great thing is from each video you make, you can come out with three or four or five different teaser videos for that main piece of content. We can also group videos together. You'll see me doing this a lot on the YouTube channel. So on days when I'm, I'm not available, I've got something else going on. I can't really shoot a brand new video. What I'll do is I'll take the best performing videos over the last few months, compile them together into a compilation. You'll see me doing that maybe once or twice a month. We can also use videos as lead magnets so we can put them behind a gated page where people have to opt in to obtain that video so we can use videos to generate leads. With podcasts, we can turn them into audio books so we can group them by by category and then put them all together to form an audio book. We can break it down into smaller sections to create sound bites. And the one that is really powerful is to create audiograms. So what these are, they're images that you click on and then it shows you shows you the actual audio wave visually. And then you have you have a paragraph or a small piece of, of audio content that delivers value there. So that's the big picture 
overview of how to create and repurpose micro content. So how do you make it? How do you make this type of content? Well, I'm going to show you. So how to make images, the tools and websites we use to make images from your content is Canva, Photoshop. You don't have to use Photoshop. We can use Pixabay to get free images, royalty free images. I would say if you're just starting out or you don't want to get too technical with Photoshop, just use Canva. It's very good. Canva.com to make videos. You know, I've done a fair bit of video marketing in my time. So if you don't want to learn any complicated video editors or you don't want to buy one, then Clipchamp is really good. If you have a PC or a Mac with high RAM, I'd recommend at least four gigabytes of RAM to do video editing. But Clipchamp is free to use. ScreenFlow, that's what I use for my videos. That's for Mac only. A free version of or a free movie editor is iMovie for Mac. For Windows, it's Movie Maker. Or you could just use your phone. That's fine. Your, your mobile phone has got all the tools and everything you need to make videos and audio. So how do you make audio? How do you make podcast? Well, we can use anchor.fm, I think, or .com. Anchor, it's a free podcasting service. We can download a free tool called Audacity and record a voice like that. Obviously, you're going to need a decent microphone for this. We can use headliner.app. This is really good for making audiograms. We can use GarageBand if you're on a Mac. That's got the ability to record your voice and do editing. Or again, you can just use your phone to record audio files. The microphone on, on your phone is probably good enough. Okay, so once you have your content, you've broken it down, you've turned, you turned your core pillar content into micro content. Where do you post it? What do we do with it? Well, your images should be posted on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube. Okay, YouTube has got a community section. If you go on your channel, go to community, and then you will be able to upload images, and then your followers, your subscribers, will be able to see those images too. I do that a little bit on my channel. So videos should be posted on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, Vimeo, and Daily Motion. Now, when it comes to posting videos on Facebook and Instagram, we need to change things a little bit. So videos on Instagram should be less than a minute long. Keep it under a minute. Videos on Facebook work best if they're over three minutes. So there you might want to trim down a video to three minutes. And then do a second version of one minute, maybe break it up into three individual pieces of micro content. Next, audio files, MP3s should be posted on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, SoundCloud. You can upload them to Facebook, Twitter and LinkedIn as well. So that's the big picture overview of a content marketing strategy specifically designed for social media. And if you want part two, because there's a lot more to, to learn about this, then tell me in the comments. Because coming up in part two, if you want it, I'm going to show you how to play the algorithms. We're going to delve into each social media network. Excuse me. And we're going to look at each of the algorithms and how to play them properly. I'm going to show you the social media posting schedule to start with. The right one for you. And I'm going to show you the social media tools I personally use to automate my posting. We're going to look at real life examples of people who are crushing it on social media. And I'm going to show you how to quickly boost your reach and engagement. It's a really simple strategy. And I'm going to show you the right way to use hashtags. And also, I'm going to show you how to profit from social media. We have to be smart about this because there's no point increasing your reach and your engagement levels if it doesn't result in something. Okay, that's why you have a business, isn't it? It's to make money. So I'm going to show you how to make that profit. And it's not by spamming. How many times do I say you can't go around posting affiliate links 
and expecting people to buy from you. It doesn't work like that anymore. We have to be very smart about it. I'll give you the strategy if you want it. So you have to tell me in the comments if you want part two, and I will be delighted to go ahead and create that for you. Now, remember at the start, I promised I'd show you how to get more organic traffic for free. Well, you can get that free training course when you go to profitcopilot.com slash traffic. Grab that. It won't cost you a penny. And if you found this useful, if you've enjoyed this tutorial today, give it a thumbs up below. Subscribe to the channel too. Hit that little notification bell so you never miss an update from me. And I will hopefully see you again in a couple of days time. Take care.